All right, guys, to finish off with rapid reaction. A lot of topics, a little bit of time. Let's go drink. Let's roll, baby. The Cowboys feel that left tackle Tyron Smith may miss the rest of the season due to a neck injury. How big of a loss would that be, Jay? No Travis Frederick, no Lyle Collins, no Tyron Smith could be the knockout blow, and it could be uh, a devastating blow to the Cowboys. Los Angeles Clippers president of basketball operations, Lawrence Frank, was named NBA Executive of the Year on Thursday. Did the NBA get this right, or should they have chosen someone else? Hell no, they didn't get this right. Lawrence Frank wasn't even the best executive in the in, in L.A. Actually, it was Rob Palenka for, for a multitude of reasons. Um, you gave up more, pe- more picks to get Paul George than the Lakers gave up to get A.D. Then you went out there and got your classic rim defender, Joaquin Noah, that, that seen zero minutes with zero meaningful minutes. Why, you know, we only got Dwight Howard for the, the veteran minimum. There's, there's only two of the transactions. So, you know, I'm going to go with that outstanding note. Wichita State is conducting an internal investigation into allegations made in a report by the Athletic against men's basketball coach Greg Marshall. What's your quick take on this? I don't know if you guys got a chance to uh, read some of this stuff, but if there's, a, if there's a shred of truth to any of this, Greg Marshall should be fired and he should not be allowed to coach another basketball game ever. That, that, that's, that's a that's fact. It. The SEC has said football programs personnel that violate face covering requirements will face $100,000 fines and could be subject to suspensions. What's your reaction to that, Drink? Well, I, hey, I agree with it. I think that their, their requirements are a little more lenient than the NFL, so I don't see the problem. Cover your face and don't, you won't get fined. Let, like, let's knock it off. We are grown men and women. Let, let's do what we need to do so we can get this football and, and keep it rolling. After a one-year ban, China's CCTV will broadcast Game 5 of the NBA Finals tonight. Your thoughts? Wow, that's nice of them. They'll, they'll disperse a virus before they'll disperse basketball games on television. Way to go, China. <laughs> Boy Niners coach Kyle Shanahan says quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo will return this week against the Dolphins. Will Garoppolo's return be enough to get him back on track? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say enough, but I would say it's definitely you're you're going you're trending towards the right direction. I would definitely give them that, but I want, I don't know if it's enough. You might need a running back or two to come back as well, and then we'll go from there. Uh, you know, or a defense alignment too. But either way, I do think it'll be going towards the right direction. Madden has added the Greek freak and his two brothers in the mode of his video game. What's that all about, Jay? I don't even, I got to be honest with you. I put this question in here. There, there was more like news that came out later in the day. I should have, I should have removed this question. It's, it's not even a real question. That's my fault. My bad listeners. Kansas Jayhawks football coach Les Miles has tested positive for COVID-19. <laughs> What's the bigger story in the big 12? Les Miles but, in that positive test or tomorrow's Red River rivalry afterthought? So when I read this question earlier, it put me in a deep thought. Like really what's more important. And I would say, as far as tomorrow go, I, I got to get a Red River robbery that is just due. But as far as big picture, oh, it's definitely less miles in the positive testing. Like, let's be serious here. So, yeah, um, you know, it is what it is. Hey, I think uh, both of those also be ESPN Plus tomorrow. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves both swept their way through the NLDS. Which team do you see advancing to the World Series? I think the Dodgers starting pitching is the difference. I think that's a fairly good advantage for them. And I, I say they'll win that series in six and they'll be in the world series. That's more than tomorrow night on ESPN and ESPN plus UFC fight night, Marez versus San Hagen. It's going down in Abu Dhabi at the flash forum. It's a UFC bantamweight main event between the number one ranked Marlon Marez and the number four ranked Corey San Hagen. Who you got? Yeah, I'm going to take Marlon Marais. Uh Marlon Marais is the superior uh, fighter of the two. Um, the only problem, the only reservation I have is he has had a long layoff since his last fight, um, which I think was for the title. Um, so I'm very interested to see how that, that happens. But I, I think Marlon Marais should be the victor. Corey Sanhanger, you know, he's not Chuck Liver or anything. I just don't think he has the tools or the body, you know, to actually stand up to um, Marlon Marais' power. All right, that concludes today's Drink of Wisdom. I'm Cody Ward. I'm Jay Wise. And I'm Nathan Drinker. And remember, make tomorrow better than today and make today better than yesterday. And you know what we're going to do. Hey, gas up the jet, baby. This series is over. We're going to holler at you until next time, baby. So disrespectful.